So here is a game that was free on the Epic Store uh, as of uh, the week of July 3rd. This game is called Grime. Uh, coming in, I was pretty unsure of what it was, but apparently it's some sort of a side-scrolling Souls-like. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it a shot, see how it is. I mean, the graphics look great so far, the music is interesting. Let's see how the gameplay is. So it looks like this game is going to lean pretty heavily into uh, what is apparently a, a parry technique, but in this game it's called Absorb. Uh, looks like if you're able to uh, do this parry before a light enemy attack, you, you do this animation and you destroy the enemy and absorb some kind of energy from it. So that's good, I mean at least we got some, some skill based combat here. All the little uh, enemies laying around and the NPCs appear to be uh, monstrously ugly, which is which is okay. I just you know feel a little bad for them. These pots that keep slapping me—that's kind of rude. You can really tell by a lot of the way this game feels that it's heavily inspired by Dark Souls. Uh, I'm assuming this giant crystal thing is going to be the equivalent of a bonfire. Yes, it is. You can see when you reach a new area, it has a little effect like Dark Souls. You can see that at the top left we have uh, the, it's like the, the force that you absorb from enemies is the orange, health is the red, and your stamina is the blue. Looks like we'll be able to hotkey four items and I think we can equip two weapons at once. And the number on the bottom right is our mass which I believe is equivalent to souls. I'm glad that this NPC agrees that all the NPCs uh, are ugly. I'll be honest, the controls for this game are pretty good. There's no input lag, everything feels pretty crisp. No complaints so far, this game's pretty fun.
I mean, what would you call this, I guess? A, a side-scrolling, platforming, Souls-like? There's not a lot of hand holding, which of course you expect from this kind of game, which is nice. The HUD isn't overly complicated, and I do like the personalities of these ugly, ugly, horrible little NPCs. So far, I'm enjoying this game. Alright, looks like I got my first weapon, which is like a disgusting, weird claw axe, so it's pretty cool here. We go. So here is a much larger slapping arm. It wasn't too difficult to defeat. So I just picked up that beacon, I'm not sure if that just uh, updates my map, or if I die if I'll respawn there, or if that's like a fast travel point, I'm not sure, we'll, we'll see as, as the game goes further. But here I get to fight some more horrible, ugly things. Those guys are like... People stegosauruses. I'm assuming if you get too close to them, it'll damage you. Try to avoid these spikes. And there's another uh, slapper face. So it looks like we just saw another basic. Uh, part of combat in this game is just that red attacks can't be absorbed or blocked. You have to face through them or avoid them entirely. So instead of some kind of Estus Flash system, I guess you have to use the energy that you've absorbed to heal, but I guess you have to be able to fully heal yourself before it lets you do it. I don't fully understand that system yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. I do like that if you absorb a projectile attack, it'll shoot it back at the attacker. That's, that's a nice design choice right there. These little slapper arms are pretty hilarious when you watch their animation. They just very weakly just kind of push you away. Ah, looks like I got my second weapon here. Looks like a pair of twin blades and another slapper vase. My health is a bit low. I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful here. And I don't have enough force to uh, replenish it. I guess I'll just YOLO through here. There we go. That uh, slapper gave me enough force to completely kill myself. So that's nice. I'll just take care of these ugly stegosaurus men. Right. 
So fun fact, I just looked up some information about this game. Uh, it's actually Israeli, and it came out in 2021, which is a few months before Elden Ring came out. So you can't complain that they stole the living char idea from Elden Ring. Or trying to piggyback on its popularity. Information also called this game a Metroidvania type game, which I guess would be Metroid or Castlevania. Both games I never really cared for. Those items appear to be similar to uh, like large souls of warriors and things like that you would find in Dark Souls. They just give you a temporary increase in your uh, resources that you can use up. I'm sure if I die, I'll lose them on the ground and need to go pick them up. Why would a wall only be breakable from one side? Just kind of reading some of the UI points here, trying to figure out, you know, which build I should try to go for. I'm guessing if I'm going to stick with the axe, strength probably makes sense. Don't fully understand all the stats we get, but we'll pick it up. I'm looking forward to meeting the first boss. I mean, that'll tell us a lot about how the game is going to be. Alexander's Jar brothers are getting absolutely obliterated in this game. Alright, so there's the wall. There's a breakable wall. I wonder if this game will have illusory walls. I really hope not. I'm trying to think of 
like what character that little guy reminds me of. I know there's like a game with a similar looking character with a big giant misshapen head, but I'm gonna have to think about it. <laughs> Oh, you know what it is I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of the uh, the two guys in Tears of the Kingdom who buy the booble gems from you. Well, one buys the, the booble gem from the other one. Colton and whatever. That's what that guy looks like. Their heads are just a lot rounder than Zelda. Alright, so I'm guessing here is our first boss. I guess this is the first phase. I have no idea what I'm doing. I guess those red attacks, though, I definitely have to uh, avoid and slide through. I'm guessing the other weaker attacks have to absorb and kind of break down this, uh, stone armor. I'm doing really bad, but this is just a skill issue, and I don't have the timing down yet. It's pretty, it's pretty clear and transparent what you're supposed to be doing. Alright, so there's my first death. Uh, you can tell I lost a bunch of stuff, so let's go see if I can just go pick it up and get it back. Automatically respawn me at the nearest bonfire purple crystal thing. Alright, you can see that my body is like kind of clipping inside the head, but I broke it and I got my stuff back. It didn't look like I got any souls back. second take because I apparently forgot how to speed. But now we figure out what we gotta do. The boss is here proper, we have to avoid the red attacks, and we have to absorb the weak attacks and just slowly break the down. So we're not getting too crazy innovative, but let's see how it goes. That was dumb. Why did I do that? That was just more skill issue. That should have been an easy win for me. But I think this next time we should be able to do it pretty easily.
There we go. Oh, that was still a little too close for cover. So there goes the first boss. That was pretty fun. Man, don't you just love these little guys? I have no idea what this means. Oh, okay, that was a really smart death. Anyway, so this is basically uh, where I'm going to stop the video. We did the first level, the first boss, just kind of a little uh, introductory video here to this game. Again, it's called Grime. Uh, it's on the Epic Store. It's uh, made last year. It's pretty fun. So if you think it's something you'd be interested in, you can uh, pick it up. Hope you enjoyed.